Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is best known as the daughter to hip hop royalty who grew up in front of our eyes. She is continuing to fall out of the shadows of her famous parents through her work in television and also film. Oh, wow. In her new movie, Pride and Prejudice Atlanta, she is one of five sisters of a pastor and first lady. I know about that. Their mom, played by the hilarious Jack A. Harry, has her eyes set on a fine young man Ooh. that is new to town and thinks he'll be perfect for her daughter. Please welcome actress Regina Carter. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Wow, I'm good. The people say, now, Regina, you just, you just keep on slashing and slashing and slashing. I remember when you were in music and then entrepreneur. Now you are an actress. Look at you. Yes. Yo, <laughs> is there a lot of pressure on you to step out of the shadow of, of your, your parents? Pressure, I wouldn't say pressure because, you know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Mm -hmm. And every room that I walk in, every ground that I step on, I am a representation of them. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I'm just doing what's best for them and what's best for me, mm -hmm. and that's following my dreams. Yeah, oh, that's wow. good. Go on, pretty. Because yeah, you've been in the spotlight all, literally all your life. Mm -hmm. So what is, what is normal? What does that look like for you? This is normal to me, like, all in my <laughs> life. Because, you know, I have been since I could talk. I've been mm -hmm. in the spotlight, so, you know. But I try to keep my life as normal as I can. You know, I ask, I beg my mom to go to public school. Mm -hmm. I, I have normal friends, mm -hmm. like, I just try to keep myself as humble and normal as I can. Yeah, yeah, you do a good job at yes. it. Yes. But sometimes you might turn up a little bit. Girl. Oh, I do. Yeah. You told them. Now, what, did, what happened with baby Ryan, your little sister? You're 18 years older than her. Yes. You fight the kids. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Who did it to Oh, my God. Who did it? Me and Ray, like, it's so crazy because she's young, but she's like my best friend. Like, oh. I feel like she brought me and my mother closer. Mm -hmm. And it's just amazing to have such a young sister. And she's a birth control, a walking birth control for me, too. Oh, oh uh -huh. I love that, honey. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> good for you. Well, but you have a lot of other things that you want to pursue in your life mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And when did you know that acting was one of those things? Um, since I was like five years old, I used to go to acting classes when I was younger mm -hmm. and I kind of stopped. I was playing around mm -hmm. and then I was like, probably like a year or two ago, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I got to do this. Like, this is what I really want to do. Yeah. yeah. But you've been, to, you went to the HBCU, uh, Clark yeah. University. Are you still there? And did you pursue acting while you were there? No, um, and no, I, I'm not there anymore. Like I said, college is not for everyone. It's not. And. Honestly, I had a great experience there, but I wanted to, I know you could do both. You could do you college and acting, mm -hmm. and it's, that's what you should mm -hmm. do. But mm, I wanted to do just acting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was important for you to experience that, to know for yeah. yourself, though, because mm -hmm. no one can guide you through that. You got to right. feel it for yourself. And that's yeah. why I you told my to. parents, I was like, you know what, I'm going to do this for y'all mm -hmm. and for me, because mm -hmm. I really want the experience, and the experience was great. Yeah, mm -hmm. and how many years did you say at Clark? Um, Two years, <clears throat> two right? semesters. Oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, you came in strong. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. But let's talk a little bit about reality TV. We've seen you on Growing Up Hip Hop and also Ti's Family Hustle. Yeah. What is reality TV like for you? You know, it's give or take with reality mm -hmm. TV. I feel like it's. I'm so thankful that I'm on Family Hustle mm -hmm. right now because it's such a family oriented show and it's not about drama. Yep, that's mm -hmm. You know, you can learn from it and you can also, you know, strengthen up your relationship mm -hmm. with your family just by watching it, gathering around and having family time and it's just positive. It's not a lot of positivity in reality and, shows. And a lot of it is not. You're yeah. absolutely right. So how hard is it for you to kind of remain private with any relationships? With being such a public figure, you you're very popular, Regina. Let's just keep it real. Oh, thank you. you, know. <laughs> you know. um, yeah, it's very hard actually. Mm -hmm. But everything that I do is always out there, mm -hmm. so I'm used to it. But with a relationship, it's very hard. Yeah. And I'm young, and I'm still growing yeah. within my relationship. So it's like people are watching me grow mm -hmm. in love. Yeah. So. Are you in love? Ooh, what is this face? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't easy being cheesy. You just lit up. You look like. 
What yeah. is happening? Oh, right now? Well, I got to tell you, <laughs> oh. I, I'm going to tap into that. Listen, we had more of a Reggie <laughs> Carter when we returned. You don't want to miss this. We're going to yes. talk about a new movie. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're sitting here with the one and only actress, Regina Carter. Yay! Honey, how does it feel to, to now add actress to your repertoire? It's amazing. Yeah? Like, just to hear you say that. It's just, uh, let's talk a little <laughs> bit about your new movie that's coming out on Lifetime, Pride and Prejudice. Yes. Tell us about it. Um, it's an amazing film. You know, it's a novel. But I feel like I like the one that I'm on, because it's an all-black cast. Mm -hmm. so it's the first time that they did it like yeah. this. So that's amazing. And just to work with so many, you know, actresses and actors that's been in the game. Mm -hmm. So it was amazing. So you're playing, your character name is Lydia. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about Lydia. What type of girl is she? You know, Lydia walks to her own beat. Okay. You know, Lydia's kind of like me, but way different too <laughs> <laughs> but you know I mean I go through things that I don't go through in real life so it was fun to just tap into that character mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well who did you connect with most on the set I connected with the whole cast yeah. like that cast this was my first cast but it was the best like everybody was so cool and everybody was willing to give me notes if yeah. I needed it. Who gave you the best advice on set? Mm, I would say Jack A, Miss Jack A. Don't yeah. you love her? Yeah. Yes. She's a good person. We just finished the play together. She's, She's just amazing. so amazing. Oh. And so down to earth, but that's another whole story. But So now that you got your feet wet in the whole mm -hmm. acting life, so do you think that you're in it for the long haul? Yes. Really? Definitely. So what kind of roles do you see yourself playing? I see myself playing like anything that's why I'm in this acting career because I want to I want to do everything mm -hmm. you know that's what you can do you can tap into whatever character you want oh mm. see I like you a whole bunch <laughs> you just grew up and I just grew up like you Thank right before you. my eyes you look just like your mom you're so pretty so true you're so talented I'm just proud. we gotta go now we do. okay <laughs> we're so <laughs> proud of you baby Thank you know, you so you all Listen, after. Uh, you're always welcome to the circle you know that already but be sure to check out Regine's new movie Pride and Prejudice Atlanta premiering this Sunday on Lifetime and the conversations always continue on all social media platforms at Sister Circle TV